Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You've learned so far that DNA is the chemical name for the molecule that carries genetic instructions in all living things. The sequence of the bases along the backbone serves as instructions for assembling proteins and RNA molecules. But what if something happens in the sequence of the DNA bases? Let's find out in today's lesson. Lesson 8. Genetic Mutations Is it possible to have too many mutations? What about too few? While mutations are necessary for evolution, they can damage existing adaptations as well. What is mutation? Mutations are changes in the genetic sequence and they are a main cause of diversity among organisms. These changes occur at many different levels and they can have widely differing consequences. In biological systems that are capable of reproduction, we must first focus on whether they are heritable. Heredity, also called biological inheritance, is the passing on off traits from parents to their offspring. Keep in mind that some mutations affect only the individual that carries them, while others affect all of the carrier organism's offspring and further descendants. Factors causing mutation A mutation is a change that occurs in our DNA sequence, either due to mistakes when the DNA is copied or as the result of environmental factors such as UV light and cigarette smoke. We call factors that cause mutation mutagens. Mutagens are commonly in the form of toxic chemicals and harmful radiation. Sometimes mutations can occur from the following. Mistakes during DNA replication. Mistakes during mitosis. Mitosis is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells. Or even during meiosis. Meiosis is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. These cells are our sex cells, sperm in males, and eggs in females. Mutations can occur in two different types of cells, the reproductive cells and the body cells. Remember that only mutations in sex cells or reproductive cells pass on to offspring. Mutations can affect the reproductive cells of an organism by changing the sequence of nucleotides within a gene in a sperm or an egg cell, if these cells are fertilized. Then the mutated gene becomes a part of the genetic makeup of the offspring. The DNA sequence of a gene can be altered in a number of ways. Here are the types of mutations. Mesense mutation. This point mutation is a change in one DNA base pair that results in the substitution of one amino acid for another in the protein made by a gene. For example, if this is the normal sequence of DNA bases to produce this sequence of amino acids during protein synthesis, in Mesens mutation, the nucleotide adenine in the second code was substituted by cytosine, thus leading to a different amino acid which is asparagine instead of glutamic acid. The next type is nonsense mutation. A nonsense mutation is also a change in one DNA base pair. Instead of substituting one amino acid for another, the altered DNA sequence prematurely signals the cell to stop building a protein. This type of mutation results in a shortened protein that may function improperly or not at all. For example, the nucleotide guanine was replaced by thymine, thus giving instruction to the cell to stop building a protein. Some mutations that change DNA bases do not have any effect on the sequence of amino acids in the protein. These mutations are called silent mutations and they do not affect the structure or function of the protein because there is no effect on the amino acid sequence. For example, the nucleotide adenine was replaced by guanine. But still, the amino acid is glutamic acid. Here is another type of mutation, insertion or deletion. An insertion changes the number of DNA bases in a gene by adding a piece of DNA. A deletion removes a piece of DNA. 
insertions or deletions may be small, which happens in one or a few base pairs within a gene, or in a large section of a chromosome. In any of these cases, the protein made by the gene may not function properly. The next type is duplication. A duplication consists of a piece of DNA that is abnormally copied one or more times. This type of mutation may alter the function of the resulting protein. Frame shift mutation. This type of mutation occurs when the addition or loss of DNA bases changes a gene's reading frame. A reading frame consists of groups of three bases that each code for one amino acid. A frame shift mutation shifts the grouping of these bases and changes the code for amino acids. The resulting protein is usually non-functional. Remember that insertions, deletions, and duplications can all be frame shift mutations. And the last type of mutation is repeat expansion. A repeat expansion is a mutation that increases the number of times that the short DNA sequence is repeated. This type of mutation can cause the resulting protein to function. For example, the code CIG is repeated, thus giving you a repeated amino acid of glutamine. The effects of mutations can be good or bad. For example, it can cause cancer, birth defects, or even mutation in blood protein that prevents viruses and parasites. But always remember that because of mutations, it lead to diversity of organisms here on Earth. To summarize what you have learned, a mutation is a change in the base sequence of DNA. Mutations may affect only one gene or they may affect whole chromosomes. Mutations in eggs or sperm affect future generations by transmitting these changes to their offspring. Mutations in body cells affect only the individual and are not passed on to the offspring. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.